Um, his link will be in the description. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and start. Um, start by you have to download Virtual Dub. The link will be in the description, along with the DIVX codex or DIVX codex. Um, they'll both be in the description below. But after you download them, just go ahead and open up Virtual Dub, and you want to go to File. And this you have to have your Dazzle plugged in. So go to Capture AVI. And I don't know, mine does that, but all you have to do to fix it is go from overlay to, on video, go to overlay to preview. And it should be fixing it. Alright, just go back to video, go to video source. And for the best quality, use the S video that goes with anything. Um, you can use composite. But it see it, it just looks ugly, really. Just go back to video source S cable or S video. <laughs> go to capture pin or capture properties, and you want NTSC underscore M. You want frame rate at 30. Your color space and compression. You want YUY2. Your output size to be 720 by 480 and your quality should be at 1 and just hit apply ok go back to video go to capture filter your video decoder NTSC M uh, go to video properties and yours will start out like this change the saturation all the way to 50 and the sharpness down all the way just hit apply and ok in video, the last thing in video, you want to go down here to compression. And after you download the Divic X codex, um, select them, go to configure the 1080 by HD profile. Your quality should be at well, the this little slider should be at three. Um, you want one pass and 10,000 bit rate. Hit OK and OK. Now audio, you want to enable audio capture, and if you want it to play through your laptop or computer, enable audio playback. And the import, I mean the input should be your Dazzle DVC 100. Um, your compression should be. Um, MPEG layer 3. Alright, now after you've recorded a video, well, to even start recording a video, you have to go to File, Set Capture File, and I made a personal folder for it to keep all of them in order. Then you just find a place to go ahead and save it, type in whatever you want, hit Save, and go to Capture, Capture Video. Then after you're done, stop capture. Go to file, exit capture mode. Go to file, open video file. The one I just did. And these are the main important parts. Go to video filters. Go to add. You want to go right here to deinterlace. Hit OK. Or just or just double click it. You want to keep impolarate using the Y diff allegatorium. I don't I don't know how to say it. Then you just want to select keep bottom field, interpolate, and discard top field top field. Go to add sharpen. You want to drag this up to 30. Hit OK. Add. And the last one you want to go to resize. Not that one at all. And resize. You want to go to aspect ratio disabled and new size absolute pixels. Type in 1280 by 720 and hit OK. And this will be the last thing you do for the video. You just want to crop out the bottom lines. 
So all you do is go down here. This is the easiest way. Go up by six, over by two. Hit okay, and okay. It looks really shitty right here, but then all you do is file, well, you have to go back to video compression and the div x codex and they should be the same as when you captured make sure you do this hit ok then go to file save as avi renders <laughs> 1v1 versus a fag um, just save it as whatever you want to it should be it should go by really quick and that's it just close this out and this is the settings for Sony Vegas um I don't know, it's blowing up. Uh, that's just the 1v1 versus the faggot. Delete. Explore. We'll go to File. New. No. Um, template should be HDV 720x30p. Um, 29 frames per second. Build order should be none. Progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio should be one. Output rotation should be zero. Frame rate at 30. Um, pixel format should be 32 bit. Floating point full range. Compo compositing exam gamma should be 2.222 video. Full resolution rendering quality best. Motion blur type Gaussian and de interlace method none because you've already did that in virtual dub start all new projects with this ok file now just import your clip well actually I'll use a ok should I just use the other one that's going to show you the color correction. All right, now that that's over with. All you want to do is double click it and right click properties, maintain aspect ratio, disable resample. Wait, I got the wrong file. You want to go to renders NVD. Let's go ahead and cut that one. Bring in a longer clip for like Modern Warfare 2. It's gonna look really shitty in Sony Vegas until you render it. Um, only thing I really do is brightness and contrast. I just drop in reset to none. Usually just drag this up to about 18. Then drop in color curves. Brighten it. Drop that down just a little bit. And it has a, it makes it a little nice, and that's about it. I mean, you can add more effects. I'm not really sure how they're gonna turn out for you, but that's about it, guys. And here's the render settings.
um, save as top. I use Sony AVC, MP4, whatever. The template should be Internet 16 to 9 HD 30p. Go to custom. All these should stay the same except bitrate should go up to 20, 10, 10 million. Um, everything else should stay the same. Audio should stay the same. Make sure. Yeah, audio should everything. Audio system. You want MP4. And project you want to use best. And hit OK. And that is it, guys. That's it. Thank you for watching. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.